We've all heard the typical New Zealand facts about how there's more sheep than people and the islands are the same size as the UK but with less people. But what about the weird New Zealand facts? What about those facts that don't make it into the guidebook because they're a little bit... Mm, naughty. Then. A little bit naughty, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. they pull the rubber off windscreens. Mm, and it's terrible to pull your rubbers off, isn't it? Yeah, pull your rubbers off yeah. and then eat it. Eat it. <laughs> Today, we're going to jump in and find out what 12 of those weird New Zealand facts Ah, it's a drama coming to you from Taranaki, New Zealand. Hello. Oh, Daddy, I love him. Mother thanks you. All right, Mr. Demille, I'm ready for my close-up. Hello and welcome to It's a Drama podcast. I'm Liz. And I'm Brian. And today we're here to talk to you about weird things, weird facts about New Zealand yes. that you might not know about. If you haven't been to the channel before, we're Liz and Brian, husband and wife. We talk about all things travel, New Zealand. We moved to New Zealand 12 years ago, so we like to talk about that. Yep. Living in New Zealand, just basically just chew the fat on good stuff and hope that you enjoy yep. what we're chatting about. Just about anything we can, because once once we're out of sort of um, COVID's over, borders open, we're going to be... Going a bit of traveling as yeah. well. Yeah, and New Zealand's so, in lockdown at the moment, so we're recording yeah, this in four. lockdown. Yeah. So we thought we'd do something like quite fun and just like, you know, cheer your spirits up a little bit. So yeah. this is why we're doing it. Yeah, just so, a bit of fun, as yeah. it always is. Yeah. yeah. So number one, New Zealand, I've written them down because I can't remember them, has got a, a thing called a giant wetter. Yep. So New Zealand hasn't got any predators or anything like that. No sort of spiders that are hopefully going to kill you, no. but it's got this. It's got the wetter and it is the heaviest insect in the world. In and the I couldn't world. I couldn't believe this, Bri, because guess how no, heavy it is? I don't know. It's heavier than a sparrow. A sparrow. And it looks like a giant. Have you ever seen one? Yeah, we went in that cave when we went um, yeah. whitewater rafting. Yeah, it looks and like a giant cockroach, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, they're pretty big looking things, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So heavier than a sparrow. Yeah, and it doesn't have wings. And the thing is as well, guess what the mouldy word for it is? It means, guess, do you know? No, I haven't got a clue. It means God of ugly things. God of ugly things, wow. <laughs> Why did you do that? Why did you name that instead? <laughs> Talk about giving it a complex. What's your name? What God of I ugly now? things. Yeah, I am the God of all ugly things. Wow. I'm the God of light. I'm yeah. the God of trees. <laughs> I'm the God I'm... of fire, but you're the God of ugly things. Yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. So, yeah. So what, yeah, so yeah. It's, it's got, and you pronounce it wetter, or is it a different way of there pronouncing it? There is a way of pronouncing it. There's a beautiful Maori pronunciation, and I can't quite get it right, but I think it's something yeah. like waita, waitata or waita or something oh, like wait, that. Wait, but wait, yeah, wait, we've always just said yeah. wetter, and that's you yeah. know. Anyway, yeah, so it's because we're we're English. Really, if you see but... a sparrow, an ugly sparrow falling yeah. from the sky, yeah, you know that's that one of them. That's yeah. one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Right, number two. There are more Scottish pipe bands per capita in New Zealand than in Scotland. Are you yeah. looking at that middle? Because I can I see am, you looking. I'm, no, I'm looking at I'm looking all over. Okay, yeah, just yeah. 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 So in what we're trying to say here is New Zealand's more Scottish than Scotland. So if you live in Scotland more, more Scottish like, pipe bands, Bri. I know. Do you a, like pipe bands? Yeah, I do actually. It it stirs something inside me. Oh, I knew uh, you, you know, were the, say the this. days of like, you know, when I was in the army. <laughs> <laughs> it must have been but in you the past have got life. one of those things. You have got one of those things where, whenever Brian hears bagpipes, he goes, "Oh, oh something stirring just, inside yeah, me." It stirs the Scottish little bit in me. You haven't got any Scottish blood. I have. My granddad was Scottish. Well, I've I know. Yeah, you're a, your mum and dad. Yeah. Your mum and dad. Oh, your mum was a McDonald. And so is your granddad. Yeah. 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 So yeah, yeah more Scottish pipe bands. So so if you're Scottish and you're thinking, oh, I'm going to miss my local pipe band, yeah. you don't need to worry because there's bloody hundreds of the things in yeah. New Zealand. They're all over the yeah, place. All they can't over. play, but there's lots of them. Right. Number three, I I just love this. And I haven't told Brian about this because I did it and I'm like, this has got to, this is just so typical New Zealand. Listen to this, Brian. In 2014, after losing a poker bet... A drunken New Zealand man legally changed his name to, ready? Yeah. Full Metal Havoc, more sexy and intelligent than Spock, <laughs> and all the superheroes combined with Frost and Nova. <laughs> he changed his <laughs> name his to name. that. Yeah. Wow. And then, it, this is back in 2014, and then what, he changed it. Yeah. And when he went to change his passport and get his passport renewed... He was one character under. Apparently, you've got to. It, you can't go over more than a hundred characters for a name. Oh, really? And he was, and that has got ninety nine characters. So he must have worked that out then. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't think he did work oh, it did out. He not? didn't know. It just, just he was happened surprised to be. when he turned up, and it was like, oh yeah, okay, well you can have it because it's ninety nine so characters. Name again? His name is Full Metal Havoc, more sexy and intelligent than Spock, and all the superheroes combined with Frost Nova. Frost Nova. I don't know Frost who that is. Nova. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Right. Anyway. What's that microphone? What do you think of that? 
Well, it's, it's weird, isn't it? You, mm. The thing is, there's some names and that actually... And you called Brian. Yeah. Yeah, having, meeting, having a baby and him, going, Brian. here's Brian. Imagine meeting him and you go, what's your name? And he comes yeah. out with that. Yeah, you I'm keep cooler than a superhero. Don't no, I don't. I'm not touching the microphone. Shut up. What, what I was going to say, they, they actually... Mr. St- Perfect. Yeah, well, there well, you go. Well, sit in there. Will you stop hitting the microphone? I'm not oh, touching it. Okay. I'm turning my pages. All right. Um, what... <laughs> And no, we can't cut it. Carry on. No, I'm not going to cut that. Don't worry. <laughs> I know I'm going to watch that back and go, oh my God, cut that out. I sound like a rat. Hey, psst, psst, psst. Oh, stop Pandora's it. back here. Oh. Well, the cat that's on the, the many podcasts. Yeah. Um, no, they, they, actually, they actually banned certain names in New Zealand that you're not allowed to call I know. your children. I know. Which, yeah, because I remember, I think we've talked Quite about right that once well. before. Yeah, yeah. It's not yeah. fair, is yeah. it? Yeah. Not really. Mr. and Mrs. Wall, and they, they call their yeah. sons brick and stone. Yeah. Right, number four. Are you looking in the middle? I am looking yeah, in the okay. middle. Well, I'm looking to see if the cat's in there. Yeah. Number four, Gisborne Airport over on the East Coast. This is real Kiwi, this one. Yeah. It's got yeah. a train track running across the middle of the runway. <laughs> <laughs> Has it got barriers on the, uh, to let the planes pass? And it says, quite often trains and planes have to stop to give... I don't believe that. Oh, I don't believe Has that. It? I can't That's believe that. That's not going to happen. Unless they were taxiing up and down, but... They're yeah. not going to go, oh, oh I'm stop the train because the there's a plane yeah. coming. But maybe they just hold the train to let the... Let hold the um, I wonder what's got right of way. I don't know. Well, obviously the bigger bride. Remember you told me in the, the might water? has right. Well, the might yeah, has right. Yeah. Mm. So that <laughs> like would be that the, saying. <laughs> that would be that would be the train then, really, wouldn't it? I suppose. No, the aeroplane would have right of way. Well, you can't stop airplanes. an aeroplane. They can don't you? let the big jets in Gisborne, do they? Oh, don't they? No, if you live in Gisborne, can you just let us know, please? Have you? Yeah. Ever, who's is got there, right of way? Is there a set of that? barriers on the runway? Yeah. <laughs> All right, listen, number five of weird things in New Zealand. New Zealand has got, apparently this is not in the world, but it's in the world in an English-speaking country, Yeah, has got the longest name place in the world. I'm just going to say in the, in the world because I reckon it is in the world what because is, no one has got a longer name than this. What about that one in Wales, that info or lingo no, no, for go-go go golf or whatever it's no, called? No, this yeah. is longer. This, this is, is longer. a hill in Hawke's Bay. Yeah. <laughs> That the Maori have called, should I say it? Yeah, okay. give, give it a go. Tomata Fakatangi Hanga Kawawa O Tamati Turi Pukapiki Manga Horo Nuku Pokai Wanua Kitangatua. Yeah. And it means the place where Tamatia, the man with the big knees, who slid, climbed and swallowed mountains, known as the land eater, played his flute to his loved ones. Yeah. <laughs> and then saw this, Just this a, insect. It's a hill in <laughs> yeah, and then he saw this bloody big ugly insect flying over. And that is the god of... Fell on his knees. <laughs> ugly insects. <laughs> yeah. But the locals call it Tumata Hill. So, yeah, so you yeah. don't have to say the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. Uh, Good name though, isn't it? I know. I don't well, the Kiwis do like to shorten things, there. don't they? Imagine if that was your address. I know. Yeah, put that on an envelope. I know. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, number six. The steepest, the steepest, put your teeth in, Liz. Yep. The steepest residential street in the world. This is definitely in, in the, the world. world. In the world. is called Baldwin Street. Yeah. As in uh, Mike, Mike, lives Mike, there, don't Mike Baldwin from yeah. Coronation Street. And it's located in Dunedin and it has a Gradient, you'll have to tell me about this because I don't know what this means. Of 38 degrees, how steep is that? Well, you, you know, you're um, well, you're you're you're, you're, you're 45 degree, yeah. um, oh, yeah, triangle, 45 is, degrees. Yeah, it used to be, you know, the one I just hit my microphone now, don't hit your microphone, like that. Bri. So that's that's about 45 degrees. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, so 38 would be Ooh, which is steep. It might go steep. the other way, actually. Yeah. How would you park on that? Actually, it'd be the other way. It'd be steeper. Yeah. How that, would you park well, on imagine that? Imagine if it was icy, because it gets icy down in Dundee. Yeah, it's cold. It? Yeah. And they don't put any grit on the roads. No, and you know that yeah. bloke that changed his name and the drunken thing? He was from Dunedin. Oh, was he? There you go. <laughs> Probably went flying down there on an icy day. <laughs> After losing his poker yeah. bet. So, yeah. St- oh, I can't imagine. I want to go and see that so badly, because yeah, I bet that is... 45 degrees on a ski slope would be like a black run. That's really, mm. really steep. So, you know, 38 deeper again isn't it imagine yeah. if you lived at the top of the hill and you could only get a parking space at yeah. the bottom and you got all the way to the top and then you realised you'd left something in the car and I'd talk mm. all the way back is again is it 38 degrees or 38% no 38 degrees oh, degrees right. yes mm. stop questioning I've done the research okay right okay number seven hang on number seven let me find it are you enjoying these so far Bryce? Yes. is this fun yes it's great <laughs> 
<laughs> New Zealand, number seven, is the only country in the world, in the world, with the in rights the world. to put Hobbit-related images on its currency. Where? Have you ever seen that, Barry? Well, I've seen a Hobbit. When? Pff, you see them all Why over New real? Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Elves are as well. Yeah, they are. When, when have you ever seen a Hobbit on a, news, on a, on a piece of currency? I haven't, to be no, honest. I haven't. I've never really looked for it. No, but, but maybe, maybe it's because they've got the yeah. rights to. So maybe. Do you know what? I, you, but living in New Zealand, you never really deal with much. You don't have much cash, do you? No. It's always no. those FPOS cards, isn't it? Like, yeah. You know? Yep. Even like you'll go and buy something for $3 from the um, the Foursquare and you can actually put it on your credit card. Yeah, we've talked about this and before. It's crazy, yeah. isn't it? Like, yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, so but, like you say, you don't, I wouldn't like to do like a pub quiz and then people say, what's on yeah, a $20 note? Yeah, because I wouldn't yeah. know. I know Sir Edmund. Uh, Sir Hilary Edmund. Uh, Sir, Sir, Sir Edmund Hillary. You got that, didn't you? This is a New Zealand, she's got New Zealand citizenship and she's just called him that. <laughs> Please just, don't, just ignore that. I'm going a bit funny now, I'm 50 yeah. and I can't remember things. He's on the $5 note, Who isn't is he, he again? So what's he famous for? Well, you know what he's famous for, for climbing Mount Everest, silly man. No, it's don't for driving a tractor. Me. <laughs> driving a tractor, the first man to drive a tractor, a Massey Ferguson tractor to the South Pole. How cool is that? That wasn't him. Yes, it was. I think you'll find it is. Brian, Trust are you me, winding me up? No, ask the people, they'll know. It's true. He also climbed Everest. I know he did, yeah. Are you winding me up? Yes. No, I'm not winding you up about that second fact. Oh, no. right, okay. That's, that's true, is that's it? That's a true Tell fact. Tell me again, what is it? He drove a Massey Ferguson tractor to the South Pole. Did he? Mm. Wow. Yeah. Most people take dog sleds, but he thought he'd do it on a tractor. He was a cool guy, wasn't he, Brian? Unbelievable. So yeah. He, he was with Sherpa Tenningson, uh, Tenson, wasn't he? Yeah. Mm. yeah. All right, then. So... Yeah. So anyway, so maybe they've got the rights to the Hobbit to go. Like maybe they're thinking, oh, in ten years' time, you know, yeah. when no one can remember the Hobbit, well, we'll just put that on. Yeah. And well, J.R. Tolkien was born in New Zealand. Bring it back to life or something, you know? Pardon? <laughs> I tell you what, you're going to get it. I don't care if there's COVID. Mm. That's why in COVID, so many people batter their yeah. husbands. <laughs> yeah. With a, with a rolling pin over the red. <laughs> right. Number eight. Oh, Brian, listen to this. You're going to love this. In 1996. A man broke into a radio station in Whanganui and took the manager hostage and demanded that he play the Muppet song, <laughs> Rainbow Connection. And also, it wasn't very funny, actually, Brian, because he had a, they didn't know it was fake. But he said, oh, I've got a bomb as well. And if I'm not allowed to talk on the radio, I'm going to let this bomb off. It wasn't a real bomb. Really? It was just a fake. God. Yeah, it would have been scary, I know. But Yeah. When was that? No. 1996. But more importantly than the bomb, I mean, that's yep. serious, but who would break into a radio station to demand that they play the Muppet song? <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> Which one was it? No, it goes... Um, I don't even oh, know what that one, that one it, is. Ra rainbow yeah, it song. goes... Oh, na 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 na, a rainbow na na, and what makes us na na na? Yeah, I can't sing yeah. it, but you know, it's like, mm -hmm. it, you I can't know which one I mean. Kermit sings it, I think it's like I, a really I think, sad one. Yeah, I think I remember the one. Do you yeah. remember? I think another one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Broke in and said, play it, otherwise I'm going to let the bomb off. I wonder if he played it. I wonder if the manager <laughs> said, oh, then, or if he just went, no way, mate, there's no way we're having that Muppet song on. Yeah, that's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Why would you do that? Because you're, you you're crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so that's a bit weird, isn't it? That's very right, weird. Right. Number nine. And yep. that, the reason I'm putting this in, because a lady commented on YouTube a few weeks ago and said, oh, can you talk about the Kia? And I said, I don't know anything about. Yeah. And it's not the car, the Pardon? Kia. No, the bird. Yeah. The, 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 yeah. It's native New Zealand bird. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Endangered. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful looking bird. It is. Yeah. And it is known, but it's all this about how lovely it is and everything. But when I did my research, apparently they're little pests and they're like pests. They're pests. No, oh, not right. pests, not pests. Pesky, you know? Like, oh, right. A little bit naughty. Then. A little bit naughty, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. they pull the rubber off windscreens. Oh, and it's terrible to pull your rubbers off, isn't it? Yeah. Pull your rubbers off yeah. and then eat it. Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Then it looks up to the ugly fly. Yeah, water. that's it. I'm not having you. I'd rather have this rubber down here. <laughs> no. So, and what that reminded me of, do you remember when we went to Longleat and we, oh, and yeah. you started Long, freaking Long out? Longleat's a safari park in England. Yeah. You yeah. know, the famous safari park. Yeah. In Longley, and Brian yeah. started freaking out because we were there with the kids, and we we're like, "Oh, look at all the monkeys!" And they jump on the car, the monkeys, and literally start tearing your car. Yeah, they apart. do. Yeah, literally, and they, they 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 even like bite the you know the water comes out on the bonnet to wash the windscreen. 
it had its head around that and biting, trying yeah. to pull it off, wasn't it? Like, yeah. you know, and it was just like, oh my God, so I was squirting the, <laughs> I like loads of weird stuff in the, uh, you know, screen wash in there and I didn't like the taste of that in the end. So it uh, let it go. You should have flipping claimed on that. But they were pulling people's aerials off, and there was things. It was just like brand new cars, and they were pulling the they were pulling the um, strips off the um, where your roof racks go into, like you know. And it was just just destroying cars. They're enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, look at this. Look at the look at the little monkeys, aren't they (laughs) cute? They're lovely. (laughs) Destroying our Rav Four. Yeah, they were. Yeah, and anyway, so the Kias do that as well. So just be careful if you're driving around and you see a Kia. If you're down the south, they're a South Island. They're they're, what you told me, didn't you? They're an Alpine. They're an Alpine bird. Yeah, they're they're sort of like the you know not up in the snow capped mountains, but they're they're, you know they're they're sort of at that that sort of higher level. They're they're found more in the South Island in the Alpine around about a thousand meters, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, be sort of careful area. if you're out having a nice little family drive and you see one because mm-hmm. you just keep your eye on your windscreen wipers. That's it. Make sure your windscreen wipers are going. <laughs> right. Okay. Hang on. Number 10. Three quarters of New Zealanders are living o- who live overseas. Where do you think they live? Well, it's obviously going to be um, that godforsaken place that was the, the, the god of ugly countries, Australia. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing because that's not funny. And that, yes, and we've is. got a lot of nice Australian people who listen to this podcast. It's, yeah. Brian's only yeah. joking. Yeah. But yeah, apparently three quarters of New Zealanders living overseas live in Australia. But that's what they say, isn't it? You know, like every time that a New Zealander goes to live in New Zealand, the IQ of the country goes up. Pardon? How, how great is that? Well, that's that's what the, that's what it's known as. Are in you New serious? Zealand. That's a, that's a fact. What? Tell me again. There's a politician said yes. every time that. A New Zealand leaves and goes and lives overseas, as in goes and live oh in Australia. God, what are you saying? The IQ of the country what goes up. What does that mean? Why? Why well, are you saying that? Because if you had a lower IQ, those those thick people that leave the country and go and live somewhere else, then it's just left with the intelligent oh, people. Okay, right. <laughs> Have you been to Australia? No. There Have you, you go. No. No. I want to though. <laughs> I still don't know what you've just said. If that's an insult or not, and I'm not sure whether it is to have an a go insult to the people who who move away. But yeah. it wasn't me who said it. I'm just. Repeating. Was it just a joke? It's it's. I can't remember the name of the guy who said it, but hopefully someone will be able to tell us. But you know, it was. Oh, it's just no. a well-known thing. It's just gonna. Oh, <sighs> honestly, I didn't say it. I'm, I'm repeating. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, yeah. so hello to all of our people in Australia that listen. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose they go to Australia because it's easier. Yeah. Money's better, isn't it? I know yeah. that for a fact. Do I? I think yeah. I know that for a fact. <laughs> yeah, only because you've watched Wanted Down Under. Yeah, when you want yeah. when you watch Wanted Down, I can't believe it. They go to Australia and they go to get a job, and their wages are always. You always see them sitting there, and they say, "How much will I be on?" And they tell them, and that you can see their faces. They literally they go up and they go, yeah. oh, "That's like- a lot more than I'm back on on back in the UK." Yeah. You know, house prices in the UK are expensive, aren't they? So mm. they, you know, they get a, a decent house over there, like you know. What I like about being a New Zealand citizen is you can go between both. I think yeah. that's a fantastic idea. Do you? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Me and you are going to go come live here, in Australia, that's the only Brian. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go and find some reps and live next door to them, Brian. Yeah, some Bosch reps. <laughs> right. Okay. Number eleven. Well, how are we doing for time? Twenty minutes. Yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, I love this one. I love this one. The Labour government in New Zealand, were the, New Zealand was the first country in the world in the world to in, yeah. in 1937 to introduce free milk in primary schools. That's nice. Isn't I love it? that. Yeah, yeah. So all that time we were getting free milk over in England in yep. school. New Zealand was the first to implement that. Yep. They yep. did it because apparently, hang on, it says. Um, to improve the health of the young New Zealanders and also to make use of surplus milk. They couldn't get rid of it. They said, I'll just give it to the kids. Give it to the kids. <laughs> give them little, those little suckers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how nice is that, though? Yeah. Yeah. But it's um, it's not like Maggie Thatcher Milk Snatcher. No. That was a bit nasty, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Too, and they yeah. stopped it here in the 60s, I think it was. I think it went through to, 90, oh, yeah, 1967. That's a, right. And then I'm pretty sure they've brought it back again. I don't know. I was saying this to Brian. Our kids didn't get free milk at school, did they? No. But I no. seem to remember reading somewhere that but they, they used have to get like lots of like snacks and oranges and things, didn't they? You know, and in apples, England they did, yeah. Was that no? Well, I thought that was here in 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 Noakura because people would bring things in from the gardens and things. Yeah, and just, but that's just like local. Oh, that's just it? community. Right. But yeah. I'm saying this was like free, wasn't it? Milk was, yeah, it was free. free. To yeah, kids. when I was a kid, um, you know, I, I remember, um, you know, uh, milk crates come into the school and. 
um, you know, you got it, you got your milk at 10 o'clock and, uh, mm. and that was it, like, you know, yeah. Didn't you always want to be milk monitor? Not really, no. Yes, you did. No, because I think it involved writing and I didn't like writing. No, yeah. I bet you were stood What's there. Your name? I bet when they said, yeah. who wants to be milk monitor Not this me. term? What, you didn't no. put your hand up? I was out playing for footy in the, uh, in oh, the, in the playground. As I if. I was. <laughs> oh, right, okay. <laughs> me and well, Andrew Knowles. I wanted to be milk monitor. I would have I would have given my right arm to be milk monitor because milk monitors always got, A, they got the fig biscuits and they gave out the fig biscuits yeah. as well. Yeah, but you had the tuck shop, but you, we never got biscuits. You got fig biscuits. Yeah, Did in you? Lancashire, you got a fig biscuit and a bottle of milk. Oh, I, I grew up in Lancashire as well, so. Yeah, but you're older than me, Brian. By then, fig biscuits were extinct. Yeah, we sat the tuck shop. <laughs> <laughs> they were all gone. <laughs> but no, so that's just a really nice, you know, not so weird, but it's nice to think that New yeah. Zealand was the first in the world to implement that, isn't it? Yeah. Well, New Zealand has done so many things yeah. first. Yeah. But, you know, first off. We could have we, talked yeah, about Yeah, we, we should do a list of things of mm. what New Zealand has done first. Yeah. 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 Bungee jump, jet bow, all those things. Yeah, yeah. Hang on then, Bri, because we're on number 12 now. Oh, that's gone too quickly. Hang on. Let me just say what number yep. 12 was. Number 12, New Zealand is the third closest country to Antarctica, yeah. only after. Do you know who? <laughs> it's probably Chile or something like that. Oh, something. you knew you. Oh, that is such a fake. You saw my notes, didn't I you? I didn't see them, You no. did, Brian. But I can't There's remember no the other way one. you'd know that. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Chile? I thought Chile was hot. What's Chile doing next to Antarctica? Well, it's Chile. That's why it's called Chile. Oh, right. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Or as the Americans Argentina. say, Chile. Argentina. <laughs> Argentina. Which is wow. a bit weird. That is a weird fact yeah. because you wouldn't think, well, I wouldn't think, I certainly never thought, and go and watch our Things That Surprise Us when we first moved to New Zealand video. I didn't think New Zealand was going to be next to, <laughs> next to Antarctica. No, but that's the thing, isn't it? Everyone thinks like New Zealand's this, you know, subtropical sort of country, like, you know, and it's not really, is it? It's It can get Jolly well, chilly I'll tell you in what, the winter. You don't need heat in here. Well, it's like it's I mean, warm. it's a bright, it's no a bright blue sky day today. It's the yeah, nobody needs heating in the houses. Um, and it's the middle of winter. It's what the twenty third of twenty second of yeah. August. Yeah. Yep. And so it, today I was driving into town and it was sixteen degrees in the middle of winter. So. That's pretty good. That's but if you go down to the South Island, remember yeah, we had Jolly Gordy on and he told there. us that right yeah. down at the bottom of the South Island. But Dunedin where um, yeah. Katie and... Um, Dunedin where they're busy changing their name and climbing yep. up steep yep. hills. Yep. Down T- there, it's the freezing. Wastewater. <laughs> it's freezing down yeah, there. It's, yeah. And I'd love to go to Antarctica. I would. Yeah, I would. On a Massey Ferguson tractor. Mm. Yeah, see? All right. I'd love to do that. So that's all I've got. That went really quick. What are we? I know. Yeah. I think we flew through them a bit too I quick, I think because we? I was aware and I thought I've got lots and I don't want to, you know, take up yeah. too much time from and people. And plus we've got a Zoom call in 15 minutes, so. Yeah. Yeah, we've got to go and do another podcast with. Uh, yeah, we're interviewing a couple that have just moved over from the UK and they brought their dogs with yes. them. And they have like they flew their dogs over on this special pet plane, which I can't wait to talk to them and find out about yeah. that. Yeah. So that'll be coming out in a couple of weeks to so look out for that. Um, but yeah, apart from that, like I say, we're here in lockdown with the rest of New Zealand. Um, yeah, you yeah. know, just Le- level four lockdown, which is the highest level. Um, it's crazy. We've we've had something like I don't know thirty cases in the last few days, um, which is a lot for New Zealand because we mm. haven't had any, uh, and it is the Delta strain. So they've but there's everyone in lockdown to see if they can stamp it out pretty quick. Can I just say as well a huge blimmin' big, huge thank you to all the health workers yes. and not just the health workers, the essential workers as well. Yep, you yep. know, because thank you so much. You know, people who are emptying the bins and people who are working oh, down think, Fort yeah, Square and yeah, all those people yeah. that are thinking they must think every day when they go to work, oh my God, you yep. know, what if someone comes in with it? Thanks so much. We yeah, really, so much. really Even my, I went you. for my COVID vaccine today and, you know, there's a whole bunch of people down there working and You're going to have all the anti-vax on you now, Brian. I well, told uh, you not anti-vax. to mention that. I yeah, knew why? you wouldn't be able What's to. Wrong with, yeah. I, well, because I know there's nothing wrong, but I'm just saying. But they must live in Australia or something <laughs> like that or be waiting to go to Australia if they're anti-vax. Right, so, okay. That's all I can say. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, but thank you, like I say, to all the health workers. Right, okay. Is there anything else you would like to throw in that I'm going to get rattled yep. for on the comments? Yes. Um, See, Brian's not stupid. He says these things and he doesn't have to deal with anything on YouTube because it's like... It's always you. It's, yeah. it's always me. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. Anyway, mm. that's all right. That's fine. Anyway. Well, I don't think we'll get any flack for that. 
Hey? I don't think we'll get any flack for that. No. Right, we're going to go yes. and go on our Zoom call and find and, and find these people and talk to them about their pets. But until then, thank you so, so much for joining us. Yep. Jo- joining us. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications uh, bell, and you'll be notified when we next do a video. Yeah, and thanks for being there. And thanks for all your support, like I say. It really, really helps. Yeah, yeah it, it does. does. Really it, help. it keeps us going. Otherwise, yeah, yeah you know, we're not going to be here for you. Of course. <laughs> 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 Just two little dead bodies. Yeah. You <laughs> no know, comments. you didn't subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Brian. <laughs> that's got to, that's a winner, that, isn't that's it? That's a winner. Win, win, win. It's a win, subscribe, win. Subscribe, otherwise we won't be here yeah, for you. We, we, that vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so take care and we'll speak to you yeah, soon. Kia kaha, stay strong. Bye. Bye-bye. Hello. Daddy, I love you. Mother, thanks. Right, Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. Hello.